The Canadian passport is currently the seventh ranked passport in the world. This means passport holders can travel to a large number of countries without any visa restrictions. Out of 195 countries existing in the world, Canadian passport holders can travel up to 183 of them, including the United States, UK, and the entire European Union visa free. The first step is to go to Canada.ca and click on travel and tourism and scroll down and select Canadian passport and travel documents it asks when do you need your passport and you have three options two business days or less for urgent pickups which costs an extra hundred ten dollars three to forty five business days which is the most popular option on average it takes two weeks to get your passport but although it costs a little bit more I'll show you a way to get your passport in three to five days and the last option is 46 days or more which is absolutely useless so for the purpose of this video we are going to select the second option which is the most popular one to get our passport so let's go ahead and select adult passport all right this is the main page where you start your passport application we can book an appointment at a passport office or get walk-in service at a passport office or service canada with 10-day processing it says don't go to a regular service canada center provide proof that you need the passport i'm just giving you a quick overview of this page then i'll dive into each step in detail it says before visiting make sure you complete this form below get your documents and two photos and find a guarantor and two references next we are going to answer two questions to get the right forms was your most recent passport lost or stolen or damaged no none of the above when do you need your passport within three to nine days or 10 to 45 days three to nine business days all right as you can see now we have the right form that we can download the pdf and start filling out the application and we also have the step-by-step -step instruction and all the necessary documents to get our passport in regards to providing proof that we need our passport if i click on it a small guide expands it says proof you need a passport can be an airline bus or train ticket if traveling by car a written statement explaining why you need to travel a proof of payment proof of illness and a written statement from you or a third party explaining why you need the passport for example for legal or banking tasks we recommend that you don't finalize any travel plans until you get your passport all right so if you have one of these options you can use it as a proof and get your passport fast but if you don't you can select the third password option which was 45 days or more which does not require any kind of proof next we have to gather all the necessary documents that we need for our application the first document is proof of citizenship which can be a citizenship certificate or birth certificate it must be the original document because they don't accept photocopies any valid canadian passport or other travel documents a document to support your identity like your driver's license or home country passport or health card two identical passport photos and on the back of one of the photos the photographer must write their name address and the date the photos were taken and your guarantor must also sign the back of this photo we can click on read the full photo requirement for more information all right if you go to most photo studios and ask them for passport photos they already familiar with the requirements of IRCC but if you want to gain more information as you can see the size must be 50 millimeter by 70 millimeter the photo should be original without any alterations or edit and in regards to appearance and posture you can see on the left side we have a list of things they accept like glasses hairs hats and head covering and on the the right side we have a list of things they don't accept like sunglasses or tinted eyeglasses or red eye effect or shadows as i mentioned earlier it's a requirement to get your photographer and guarantor to sign one of your photos it says on the back of one photo the photographer must write or put a stamp that says the date the photo was taken name and complete address of the photo studio your guarantor must clearly write i certify this to be a true likeness of applicant's name for an application and sign the back of the photo here are some examples of acceptable and unacceptable passport photos it says avoid this mistake if you submit a copy of your id don't forget to copy both sides and then have your guarantor sign and date each side of the copy all your documents must be in either english
English or French. If a document is in another language, you must provide an official translation. All right, the next step is to find a guarantor and two references. It says you need a guarantor to sign your application, one of your passport photos, and all copies of your supporting identity documents. You also need two references to include on your application. Your references must know you for at least two years. Your references cannot be a family member or your guarantor. The next step is to download and complete our passport application form. This is the personal information section and you need to enter your basic information and address and contact info. Next, you need to enter the information of your guarantor like full name, date of birth, passport information and home address. We need to enter our previous Canadian travel documents information. Next, we have to provide proof of Canadian citizenship with our certificate of citizenship number and date. Next, we need to provide at least one document to support our identity like your home country passport. You need to select the period of validity which means do you want your passport to be valid for five years or ten years and of course ten years how is that even a question by the way five years cost hundred twenty dollars and ten years cost hundred sixty dollars next you need to provide some additional information which includes your address in the last two years and your occupation and employer information for the last two years next you need to enter your reference contact information you can enter your emergency contact information which is optional as you can see it costs hundred sixty dollars for 10 year validity finally enter your credit card information to authorize the passport program to charge your credit card if you apply by mail but if you apply in person you have to leave it empty and you don't have to fill out this section your fees depend on what services you are getting and how you're applying to get the passport within three to nine days you need to pay fifty dollars for express pickup and forty five dollars for the transfer fee so as i mentioned earlier a 10 year passport costs 160 dollars if you need urgent pickup by the end of the next day you need to pay an extra 110 dollars for the express pickup which we selected you need to pay 50 dollars and for the standard pickup you need to pay 20 dollars so different options different choices it's up to you so to sum up let's say 160 dollars plus 50 dollars for the express pickup and 45 dollars for the transfer fee which makes it 255 dollars in total how do you pay your Canadian passport fees? You cannot pay online for in Canada services. So you have two other options. So you can submit your application by mail or in person. If you apply by mail, you should send your documents and application to one of these addresses based on your location and province you live in. If you apply in person, you must go to a passport office or Service Canada Center. Since you can book an appointment, you can click on this link and select your language and booking type, which is passport service select the earliest travel date and the number of applications which is one does any of the following apply to you no enter your full name phone number province and email address and find your closest service canada center so if you enjoyed this video make sure to give it a like and subscribe if you haven't already and if you have any questions make sure to comment below and i'll try my best to help you out make sure to go ahead and watch this video next because you don't want to miss it as always thanks for watching and see you in the next video.